Here I've taken that original spreadsheet showing the number of sex offenders living at each of these addresses. Uh, and I've done a couple of things to it. The, the first thing I've done is I've sorted it by the count column uh, so that the address with the largest number of sex offenders at it um, appears at the top of the column. This happens to be the address for the Rutherford County Jail, which is um, uh, apparently houses nine sex offenders at, at the time of this data set. Um, next, I've added this type column over here, and I've added the word offender next to every um, a row that represents a registered sex offender. And if you scroll down here, um, at the bottom of the offender information, I've added information for every school in Rutherford County, including those in Murfreesboro. Um, so here's the name of the school here, and then the address of the school here in the same column where we have the geocoding information for the registered sex offenders. Uh, the last thing I've done is I've added this style column over here, uh, and I've added some codes to tell Google Fusion tables what kind of dot and what color of dot to display for every type of record. Um, keeping with the color scheme we adopted earlier, uh, here's a small underbar red code to tell Google Fusion tables to put a red dot uh, on the map for every address that represents um, uh, three or more, uh, the location of three or more sex offenders, uh, and a small underbar yellow code to tell Google Fusion tables to use a yellow dot for addresses where there are two registered sex, sex offenders and small underbar green for addresses where there's only one. When I got down to where the schools were, um, I chose small underbar blue um, to, uh, uh, to, to tell Google Fusion tables to use a blue dot to represent every school. Okay, so I then um, saved the, sp the spreadsheet and uploaded it to Google Fusion tables. Um, and here's what the map looks like when you first open it up uh, on the website. Um, all the dots are currently red because that's just the default. Um, to get Google Fusion tables to, uh, to change the color of the dots based on what we told it to do, uh, I'm going to click on this Configure Styles link right here, as you did before. Um, and in instead of choosing buckets this time, I'm going to choose Column right there. And uh, I'm going to click this radio button and I'm going to use the icon information specified in the column labeled style. Uh, back in the spreadsheet, remember that was the column uh, that has our dot color codes in it right here. Okay, um, so I think we're all set here. I'm going to click save and when I do, uh, you'll see the map change color. Uh, so now we have a very interesting map. We have green dots showing the location of registered sex offenders, yellow and red dots showing the locations of multiple sex offenders, and we can go looking for dots that are close to each other but uh, perhaps shouldn't be. Uh, for example, here out on uh, Woodbury Road in Murfreesboro, uh, you have a school there represented by the, uh, the blue dot. In this case it is, let's see, uh, Kittrell Elementary. Uh, literally right across the street from the home of a registered sex offender, at least at the time of this data. Um, so that's something that, um, you know, maybe shouldn't be the case. Maybe that's worth a news story or two. Uh, you can scroll around and find uh, find other instances of blue dots being kind of close to uh, to green or, uh, or red dots. Here's, here's one on Broad Street, for example. Um, so uh, what we have all in all here is a very interesting map um, that can tell us quite a number of things about where registered sex offenders live in Murfreesboro uh, and in this case where, uh, where schools are relative to the addresses of those sex offenders.